Hi, Mama Butterflies, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I gave this book five stars. Like, I honestly love this book so freaking much. I really just fell in love with this book. Like, I've, it's, I've never read a book where I just, like, loved the whole thing. And, like, it was so hard for me to pick out favorite moments. Like, I just, it was so hard for me to go through this. Because the whole book was my favorite. And trying to pick favorites out of my favorites was just so wrong. Like, oh, God. Y'all don't even understand how hard it was. And I'm, like, I need y'all to read this. Because I really have not seen this on BookTube as much as I thought I would have seen it on BookTube. Jesus Christ, guys. This was freaking amazing. So, this book follows this girl, Sia Mara. And she's coming into her body you know she's realizing that she has curves and you know people are trying to holler at her and you know she's just bringing into like this whole new world of things well she feels like she's unheard people don't listen to her people don't see her so she is struggling with a lot like just coming into herself and trying to be comfortable in her own body and be comfortable in herself and then having to come home and just be ignored and knowing that her mother is trying to keep them in the church of, as the ways of the church so she feel like she can't go to her mother and talk about things. Oh God, it's fucking amazing. One of her teachers ended up introducing her to poetry. She gets her to join the poetry club and she introduces her to slam poetry. So she starts writing these poems in her journal and it's just her, I just, I recognize her so much like I can't even get the words out I recognize her so much because this is what poetry is to me like she really used her poor she went to her journal and she wrote everything down that she was feeling and she vented that's what my poetry is to me like I vent so much with my poetry that's what I use it for and I was just like I completely understand what you're doing like I do that so she was a very relatable character and like I'm not even, she's a Dominican. I'm not a Dominican from Harlem at all, but I felt like I related with her so much. I feel like so much of her was me, and I was just like, I get that. Reading this was just really amazing. It's like reading this was like, I feel like I was having like a one-on-one -on -one interview with Siamara. It's just how that it was written. It felt like Siamara was talking directly to you, to me, to the reader. And I just, I love that because it was like a one-on-one. -on -one. It was like, I felt like I was the journal that she was writing her poems in. Like she was calling me and telling me, best friend, this happened and that happened. That's what it felt like reading this. And I just, I enjoyed having that connection with her so much. It made me really care about her more than I cared about a lot of characters because I felt like it was personal. Like I knew her, like she was a real person. I also love that it was included in here like she wasn't afraid to question her faith because sometimes I do the same thing and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all do the same thing too. You question, is this real and how do I know? Like see Amara wasn't afraid she would be in church and she like, hey, how do I know this is real? Like, how do you know this? Like, it's like, yes, like I question things too and I was just like, I confide in you, girl. Like, that's me. Like, I do that. Like, I see you. I see you. I also love that sexuality was brought up and not just your preference, not just gay, straight, lesbian, whatever, not just that, like sexuality as in, you know, her, when she had her first period and how puberty, you know, changed the way she looked at things and going through puberty, when she, it brought to her attention that, hey, this is what you're going through now, these are some new obstacles you're going to have to jump over and, you know, learn to manage with it. You know, just having her, you know, fall in love for the first time and go through heartbreak and just understand, like, what this means now, you know, you're a new person, just all of that, you know, first sexual experiences, everything included in the the topic of sexuality, not just your preference or having sex, everything involved in it. And I love that that was put in here. Then the family drama was another thing that I was just like, God damn, like was just setting me on fire. I was just like, drama, drama, yes, yes, tea. Oh God, I was so into the family drama. Like it kept me on my toes. It's like, it was really like 
reading the parts where she was in her house you could really feel all the tension in the house and you could really just feel it like when those scenes would come up it's like you would get tight in your chest because you can feel it like you can almost imagine yourself there and it's just like one minute I'll be like angry and then the next minute you know I'll be happy and laughing with her and then the, the minute after that I'm like I want to cry with her and cry for her because it was just so sad I'm so happy that she bought all of my emotions out in this book and it's you don't get too many books that do that these days it's like you get books that are supposed to make you feel some kind of way but you really don't and this one made me feel it y'all like I really was in my feelings reading this book I just feel like this is a very relatable read at least to female readers that's like, at least to female readers this is a very relatable read so I feel like this is something like I would give my like 13 year old or my, like, my 12 year old my 10 year old to read because it's very relatable and I feel like a lot of things that CMR was going through a lot of young girls go through it and they don't talk to anybody about it and they don't know how to get it out and they don't have a way to vent it and so then it just turns into anger and this was a constructive way for Siamara to get out what she was feeling. And I think a lot of girls don't know how to do that. Don't know how to do it constructively. And it don't always have to be in a poetry way. You know, if you feel like you can't talk to somebody. You have people that like to draw. You know, um, you feel like you might have that one person that you can go to and talk to. But you have to find a way to get it out. And I would give this to younger girls. Because they can see that Siamara feeling the same way they're feeling. Going through the same thing they're going through. But she gets it out some kind of way a lot of times you don't feel comfortable talking to people that you know and it's easier for you to go to a stranger and talk to a stranger and get it out versus talking to somebody you're close with you know i rather and that's me too on a two on a daily like i could rather i think i would be more comfortable talking to a therapist that i just, that don't know me personally just met versus talking to somebody i've known my whole life like it's weird but it's true and a lot of girls go through it and people don't understand it and still mara just is like hey i'm the same way but this is how i deal with it like it's she's like a guide to young girls like everywhere like yes i'm like an advocate for her also i got the target um exclusive edition that has like extra poems and like little cute like doodles at the end and i enjoyed that like i read that i have been reading this book all day i read this in one day i read it all day long and then pulling up into my apartment into the parking lot I was reading the last page and my husband was trying to rush me out of the car I was like let me finish it and I was like I got the, the last page like let me finish it so it's like I enjoyed the the last the extra stuff that was added into the end and I just had like an aha moment like reading like the last poem I think it was the last one or like in those last ones and I just don't waste your time and keep putting this all just pick it up and read it people like this was really amazing i loved everything about this book this book was really great and i just want everybody to see that i really thought book two would have bought this away more because a lot of people had this on like their anticipated reads but i haven't seen it on booktube as much as i thought i was gonna see it on there so uh, y'all pick this book up like it's amazing like even if you're a, if you might be a guy watching this and you might not be thinking you're into this recommend this to like a cousin or a sister or you know a girlfriend or something like i just really think this book it was really amazing i just I love this book so fucking much. Like, I, I really want to listen to the audiobook now because I know Elizabeth Acevedo um, narrated it herself. And I saw a couple of her videos with her actually doing her poetry. And, oh, her voice is like, honey. Like, it's like she has the perfect voice for poetry, for, like, slam poetry. So, it's like, I really want to hear her read her book to me. It's like, while I was reading this, I was imagining her voice while I was reading this. So, it's almost like I got it, but I want to feel that like i'm gonna go find the audiobook and listen to it even i've read it just to hear her read the poems to me oh god i love this book i love this woman i can't wait to uh to read whatever book she has that's gonna come out next i hope she has another one that's gonna come out next i really cannot wait for another elizabeth acevedo book i really cannot because i love this so much this is definitely one of my top favorites of the year oh it was so fucking amazing y'all so please read it read it and come and comment below let me know what you thought about this book if you plan on reading it maybe you might have some worries you know maybe i can help you with those worries just let me know what you think about this or what you might be thinking about why you do or don't want to read this book and i would love to talk about it to you guys in the comments please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye